we've all heard about the hero's journey but have you ever heard about the heroine's journey let me take you on the heroine's journey through the nine avatars of navdurga the stage 1 which is shelputri is the awakening stage oh i want this oh this is who i am this is where i want to go stage 2 is the brahmacharini stage which is just going after your goals really driven really focused on your goals this is the avatar where brahmacharini fast for 3000 years just in the pursuit of her dreams stage 3 is the chandra ghanta stage which is stepping outside your comfort zone this is the stage where she gets married goes to mount kailash and realizes that now she has to live amongst ghosts and ghouls but she is up for the challenge now step 4 is the kushma anda stage this is her own creatrix stage this is when the heroine starts to self evolve and starts to create her own ideas bring her own ideas into fruition into the world the next stage is skand mata the nurturing stage this is when she is nurturing her startups her business her people her family her children this is where she is the mother and really looking after all these germinated plants and germination of her ideas and helping them grow the next stage is the katya yini stage the katya yini stage is a state of collaboration katya yini is also the mahisasur mardini version of parvati this is when she has 10 hands and she has different collaborations with the different gods and she gets different weapons from them so this is the stage where she is collaborating with others to create a larger vision in the world the next stage is kal ratri kal ratri is the dark night of the soul where she is starting to question everything that she has gone through all of her life all of her life decisions and this is the time of rebirth of going within herself and really deciding oh this no more serves me this no more is something that i need to be doing i need to evolve the next stage is ma gauri now this is the stage where she realizes i fought all my wars i've slayed all the demons i've had the babies i've fed the babies and now i want to live for myself i need to really unabashedly and guiltlessly give myself the love that i have been giving everyone else a state of self care and the last stage is ma siddhi datri now this is the stage where she has evolved into her next version where she is able to give others because she is completely filled up herself completely and this is the stage where people see her abundance her manifestation not knowing the beautiful journey that she has taken through the heroine's arc of transformation read all about the heroine's journey in my book shiva shakti